Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about Git. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look about the differences between Git pull and Git fetch, why we need to use pull before pushing and why we need to use fetch when we have a new branch on another origin, on a remote origin of our Git repository. So right now we are currently on our Git repo on Bitbucket and we only have the master branch that it's updated, was updated a month ago, the last time I recorded a tutorial. So I was slacking a lot about this, but no worries, I'm recording new stuff right now. Anyway, if we uh, open our terminal and we access our Git repositories in our local environment and we check the git status we'll see that based on my previous uh, tutorial or in something that i edited i have five commits in my current branch in my current stage that haven't been pushed yet so i could simply just write git push and push all these commits to uh, the origin to the github repository but what if we have some edits that another developer did from another computer and pushed in our Git repositories. So that's what I'm gonna simulate right now. For example, if I, from inside GitHub and something that usually never happens, but bear with me is just an example. I create a new file and I'm gonna name this file, for example, about.html. And I'm gonna write just simple HTML, like an h1 this is my about you know right about me and then just a simple paragraph this is my about page just like that nothing special nothing particular and that's it automatically github is gonna create a commit for us and it's gonna commit to the master branch or i can create a new branch we're gonna take a look at the same things. But for now, let's create a, just a, a new commit, create about HTML to the master branch. So commit new file, and that's it, that's perfect. Now we have this new commit just now that we implemented, we pushed, kind of pushed <laughs> directly in the origin, uh, the about.html. And I don't have that about.html in my current repository because if I access the repository on Sublime, you see I just have the index, license, and style. So if I try to get push to the origin that it's on GitHub, I will have an error message or a warning. Uh, it's failed to push because updates were reject rejected because the remote repository contains work that you don't have locally. So that means that something was updated in the origin in the remote repository and I don't have my local repository updated currently. So Git cannot push to another repository if the code is ahead. Before doing anything else, I have to git pull. And that means I'm pulling all the new additions, all the new stuff that I don't currently have on my local environment. And most likely when you pull something uh, on from a remote repository, something that someone else did, you will have probably an auto-merging conflict or merging issue that you have to solve it. Most likely this happens when you have compiled code like compiled CSS, minified CSS, minified JavaScript and stuff like that. So that usually happens. Right now I'm dealing just with a single file that is the about.html that now I have currently on my repo and that's perfect. So now I can safely push something that I wasn't allowed to do before. So I push the new stuff that it are all these things inside the index.html that I did in the previous lesson. So if now I go and check my Git repository and I refresh my page, you will notice that the index.html was updated based on the latest commits that I did on my local machine. That's perfect. Let's create another example. For example, let's create a new file and I'm gonna create now this new file, I'm gonna call it contact.html and here I'm gonna write exactly the same h1 contact 
as and then close the h1 and then another paragraph page and then let's close the paragraph perfect now instead of committing this new file to um, the master branch i'm gonna create a new branch that i'm gonna simply call contact and you can call this branch however you want or usually like as i said this is not something that you should do you should not create a new branch and commit new files directly on github or directly on your origin you should do it on local and then push it remotely but this is just an example for example if someone else another developer on another machine just commits this file so propose the new file and here we're gonna have uh, a pull request confirmation because we are creating directly on github so the system needs to have a confirmation if we want to uh, review it if we want to leave a comment if we want to edit the code if we want to reject it because that could happen that a user decides to help us uh, directly on our git repository and we can uh, decide what to do with this code let's simply create a pull request and let's confirm that everything is okay so if we go back to code and we open the branches now we're gonna have the contact branch that if we open it we will see we have this contact.html file that we currently don't have on our master branch so what if accessing back my local repository what if i want to switch to this checkout contact branch or like uppercase contact branch the contact doesn't match any file doesn't match any branch so git checkout contact uh, there it doesn't exist a branch like this but i cannot create a branch called contact and then pull and push from my remote repository because that branch already exists i cannot absolutely do that uh, i need to fetch this branch before being able to work on it so in order to fetch the branch so let's simply write git fetch origin and then git checkout contact perfect so this was really easy because with the fetch origin we specified to the origin that it's our git repository on github to fetch all the um, branches that we currently don't have on our local environment if we wanted to fetch just a specific branch you can just specify git fetch origin and then uh, the contact name of the branch and then colon contact name of the branch so it's going to create the new branch by pulling just the branch for the origin but if you just write git fetch origin is gonna git is gonna recognize automatically all the branches that you currently don't have on your local git repository but are present they exist on our remote repository so now we are on the um, git content and if we check our code editor of course we're gonna have the content dot html page that we don't have in our master branch so it's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for checking it if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and until the next lesson as usual happy coding